It's very unlikely, unlikely for me to have, a, you know, a joint account because as a man, I don't think I want to enter into any relationship where I'm not earning more than my wife. This is Banking on Love, where people talk about money on their first dates. They will pick from the deck of love cards on the table and ask their date a question. It could go great or not so great. Well, let's see who's compatible and who's not. Welcome to Banking on Love. These are the moments when we recount the years to ask. Whose dreams did we hold close enough to hear, even as a whisper? In 30 years, we said, you can hold our promise as bond. We built our foundation on these pillars, education, environment, community, art. We adopted schools to call our own, put books back in the rightful hands of children, rebuilt libraries for them to love. We said, you read, said you imagine the whole world is waiting. We captured the stars in the eyes of athletes, their feet afford rhythm on greener grass, bodies glistening like black gold in the sun. We made what was forgotten new again. We turned waste to play, waste to style, and remembered that discarded does not mean destroyed. We wrapped the heart of a child in orange ribbon and said, this too is a gift. On Massey Street, we covered babies with our care and breathed new life into the walls. On streets across the world, we said, there is no room for hunger here. This is how small changes transform the world. Call the artists, our voice, our conscience, the keepers of culture, creators who tell our stories with food and fashion. Turn whatever their hands can touch into something more. Indigenous as global, global as homegrown, put the women behind the lens. Pull the dusty manuscripts from their shelves, pull the art into hollowed halls to sit beside the greats. Pin our image to canvas and render us immortal. Remind us who we were and how many times we said, yes, there's hope for you here, where we bank on people, where we count on unseen potential, we dare to build from the very idea that dreaming is a fundamental human right. So dream bigger, dream for a community of people who know that wealth is built by our own hands. Ask us now at 30, ask us again in 30 more, was this the founder's dream? Are these the promises made to enrich, transform, restore? Is this what was built with just passion and people? We will answer without flinching. We followed the orange rule and found the beating heart of a people. And we would do it all over again. How do you feel about a joint or a separate account? Okay, take your, take your time, take your time. <laughs> <laughs> if there is a purpose, then it makes sense for there to be a joint account. Now, joint accounts not just for casual stuff, but for that purpose. Mm -hmm. That is, if the both of you have, if we have a business. Vision, yeah. yeah. We have a business we are running together. Mm -hmm. Then there should be a joint account for that particular mm -hmm. business. Do you get it? Now? For me, I don't think there's anything bad in it because really? if your money is my money. So I feel, um, it makes more sense when we have joint accounts. We were able to plan well, you know, like cases like when we want to get married, you know. Okay. We already know what we have, you know. So we can actually use it to plan our wedding very well. How do you well. know there's going to be a wedding? It's preferable to have a separate bank account because that's for me. I don't know about you. I don't like um, sharing my information about my money. Ah. <laughs> Since we're still dating, you know, 
That's what I think. I don't think I like anything joint. I would like to go for a separate account because when I have a separate account, it gives me a sense of financial independence. As a lady, I need to be independent. I don't have to actually depend on my partner for money. I can decide to spend my money. I can decide to go for hangout. I can decide to go for shopping. I don't need permission. It's very unlikely, unlikely for me to have a, you know, a joint account because as a man, I don't think I want to enter into any relationship where I'm not earning more than my wife. And if I'm earning more than my wife, I want to be able to solve problems in my home or even in my relationship, just dating without, I think it gives me this, uh, there's this respect when there's this mystery to how I solve problems. So what scares you about money? The evil behind it. <laughs> Sapa. <laughs> Explain. That's what scares me. I don't like being broke. I hate being broke. Mm. I hate it. I, I don't I don't ever want to be broke in life. Mm. Losing the money actually worked for scares me a lot. When you have like, for example, a millionaire in your account huh? and you spend one naira. <laughs> it's I think it's no more a millionaire, you know. So I just think money is just there, beg it's, it's nothing. When you spend ten out of it, it's gone before you know. Uh, I think not making money <laughs> in the first place scares me about money, like in the sense of pretty much the same thing. Apart from not making the money, you know, having it and losing it scares me about money, truly. I've met people in the course of, you know, my life and I wonder why, you know, someone, someone makes money now and just spends it. Like, ah. No, 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 you know, there's a saying that the money you work for, you actually know how to spend it. So if you actually struggle to actually make that money, you you know how to spend the money. So that's just the thing. So tell me, how do you think a household chores should be divided? <laughs> me, African man like me. Not divide anything, no. Which one is? We're not dividing nada. Ah. I don't I don't understand. Like what well, actually wait, 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 okay, wait. How do you even mean divide? Like I should divide washing plates, sweeping the ground, washing clothes, cleaning toilets. I don't understand. <laughs> Why are you guys fond of this? You are an African man. Like yeah, because of you are an African, African man, now. you cannot do kings something now. in that. You know that we are king. So what is your opinion? about long distance relationship i don't advise like i wouldn't advise it i don't know it works for some people but not all you know but, but it's I, not going to work for you it's not if it's not going to work for me but building up a relationship you need to get to know each other very well you, she, the fact that you are your father doesn't mean we cannot relate well you know yeah, but it wouldn't yeah. be like when you are together i do not like that idea the, the reason is because i'm a very Lovey dovey, touchy touchy kind of guy. Mm. You know, so, so that's Mary's why you say. Yes. <laughs> Guilty as charged. So aside that, nothing else. Uh, well, I I tend to also be very a little little bit no not little bit very jealous and a little bit insecure. What are you passionate about? Maybe can I be passionate about making money? Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually passionate about making money. Okay. In the sense that. It's a very vital ingredient of living. I'm passionate about being righteous. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, come yeah. again. Actually, some people see me as a perfectionist. So I like, I like doing everything right. Okay. So no matter what it is, I just want to make sure that there's no spot. I like to make sure everything no space. is right. No spot, like no mistake. Mm -hmm. You understand? I'm passionate about being the best. Like, I just love to be the best, what I put in my mind, you know, like, I act. So even when it's, it's not bringing you that much money? Uh, it has to bring money now. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Anything that brings money gives you that passion. You can't say you're you're going into business and it's not bringing money. Even if you're passionate about cooking 
and you see that the cooking line is not working for you that passion is there but with time you, you you begin to lose interest in it so i whatever i'm going to be passionate about has to bring money to the table it's very important would you go into business with me if we were in a relationship <laughs> well that's no problem mm -hmm. that's no problem yes I will because if I see you have that, like you're optimistic, I see your business idea, it's actually good. Why not? I'll buy the idea. We're in a relationship, we'll, we'll do business, of course. That's that's the purpose of being in a relationship, actually. Well, what's the purpose of being in a relationship without business? You have to be a business. If we're not doing business, then what are we doing in the relationship? If I see you're this kind of person that's not even serious with business, then I think I might just want to be a partner and I get my own, I bring the capital, but you bear the name, but I'm still part of the business. I, I think what is crucial is, um, what's crucial is the part is being able to detach, you know, emotions from, you know, from what's from business, from what is actually real. You see, when, when it comes to business, there's nothing like uh, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, something like that. You are on your own page, I'll be on my own page, working. Right? Two different humans working together. You work with different people, right? And as you're saying, it's going to be different businesses. I'm not saying different business. Like, we could be into the same business. Like, True. working hand in hand with each other, you know, but having separate bank accounts. How are, you, are you sure that's going to work? Mm -hmm. Of course it's going to work. I think the, the date was a lightning. I, I learned a lot. At first, Roland was actually shy, but with time, he actually loosened up and he came out of his show. The guy was quite impressive. I mean, he literally answered some questions the way I like it. I think uh, she's an outspoken person, yeah. And she's cool at the same time, you know. I like her. He sounds like someone I can actually blend with. But the only issues I'm having is just that he doesn't want to really spend money. And as a young and beautiful girl, come on, I need a man that can spend on me. I think it's good. It's okay. You should discuss finance before you go into a relationship. It's very good because so many people don't really understand um, the basics of um, financial management. Not everybody who wants to be in a relationship understands, and it has really brought a lot of, you know, a lot of havoc in relationship. It has made, it has, it has caused big risks in relationship. If you don't have um, financial plans, then I don't think you have a dream. You don't have a goal. You need to set goals. You need to set, I need to see that you have a vision before I go into a relationship with you. You need to know the kind of person that um, you want to go into a relationship with. If she's the kind of spender, you know, or she's the kind of person that saves money with you. We have to know if we're on the same page. You understand? We have to know if we reason alike. like, like we have the same uh, motive or aims. Because some guy gets pissed off when you ask them of their financial um, status before going into a relationship. It looks as if you're coming just for their money or something. It's very necessary that you have this uh, express discussion. You, you guys make the terms of your relationship, especially finances. You guys talk about it at the onset so that when you get into the relationship and you are at that rocky area of a relationship where somebody, so, so you don't, one person doesn't start feeling, being filled with regret. These are the moments when we recount the years to ask, whose dreams did we hold close enough to hear, even as a whisper? In 30 years we said, you can hold our promise as bond. We built our foundation on these pillars, education, environment, community, art. We adopted schools to call our own, put books back in the rightful hands of children, rebuilt libraries for them to love. We said you read, said you imagine the whole world is waiting. We captured the stars in the eyes of athletes, their feet afford rhythm on greener grass, bodies glistening like black gold in the sun. We made what was forgotten new again. 
We turned waste to play, waste to style, and remembered that discarded does not mean destroyed. We wrapped the heart of a child in orange ribbon and said, this too is a gift. On Massey Street, we covered babies with our care and breathed new life into the walls. On streets across the world, we said, there is no room for hunger here. This is how small changes transform the world. Call the artists, our voice, our conscience, the keepers of culture, creators who tell our stories with food and fashion. Turn whatever their hands can touch into something more. Indigenous as global, global as homegrown, put the woman behind the lens. Pull the dusty manuscripts from their shelves, pull the art into hollowed halls to sit beside the greats, pin our image to canvas and render us immortal. Remind us who we were and how many times we said, yes, there's hope for you here, where we bank on people, where we count on unseen potential, we dare to build from the very idea that dreaming is a fundamental human right. So dream bigger. Dream for a community of people who know that wealth is built by our own hands. Ask us now at 30. Ask us again in 30 more. Was this the founder's dream? Are these the promises made to enrich, transform, restore? Is this what was built with just passion and people? We will answer without flinching. We follow the orange rule and found the beating heart of a people. And we would do it all over again.